What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music production, music licensing, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on my latest content. Today, I want to show you guys um, one of my tips. A lot of people hit me up and ask me, um, you know, how do you turn around music so quickly as far as mixing and mastering, especially for TV and film deadlines. Because if, if you work in music licensing, then you know sometimes the deadlines can be really quick and you have to be able to work fast and efficient uh, without sacrificing the quality of your work. Um, so I'm gonna share one of the tricks that I use today and that trick is creating custom channel presets. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I do it. If you don't know how, you will know how by the end of this video. So let's dig into it. So the first one I'm going to start with is going to be my my master output track right here, output one and two. And um, I usually have a few go to plugins on, on my master. Uh, the first one being uh, the Slate Digital uh, Virtual Tape Machine. And I won't go in in the details on how I set it specifically as far as like settings, but I'll just load the plugin so you guys can see and, and get the general concept and then you can set everything how you want. Um, because when you set and save these presets, they're going to load exactly how you, they're going to load the settings of each plugin as well. Um, so however you set it, when you save it at that point, it's going to load just like that. Um, so the first one is like virtual tape, then I'll have, uh, let's see, I wave slate digital. I think I'll use uh, the BBC red joint, and then I'll have the FGX. This joint is, is dope. I usually turn the, the compressor of that off because um, I have the <clears throat> the FBC up here, so I don't really need the the extra compression in the FGX. So that's usually my standard um, master output setting. So now I'm gonna go up here where it says setting. Click on that, and then you're just gonna save channel strip setting as, and then here you just name it whatever you want. As you can see. My, I have Clint's master one already saved. I'll just save this as test. And then it's saved. So now if I go in and let's just totally reset this channel strip. There's nothing on there. I just finished the track. I need to hurry up, throw some plugins on, on the master track. You just click setting again. And then scroll down to user channel strip settings. And then boom, you see test right here. Just click on test loads up the plugins boom the plugins is there you then you all you need to do is just adjust the volume wherever you need maybe of course make some some changes uh to whatever you know plugins you have so it, it works for that specific track um so that's that and then i have uh you can you can save you know these channel strip settings for whatever channel strip you need so i have always have a, a drum um a drum bus that I'll put um, some settings on. So I already have a, a channel strip setting here, uh, which is called Clint's Drum Bus 1. I just click that, and then those plugins load up, and then I can go in and, you know, tweak whatever I need to tweak there, and I'm, I'm good to go. Like, I don't have to worry about going through and finding the plugins that I used um, last time and then messing around with the settings and trying to set everything back. Um, it just it takes up time. So this is a great way to be able to save time. Literally, you can do it for whatever channel strip you have. Um, and man, I'm, I'm telling you, it's a lifesaver. So if you're looking for a way to, you know, speed up your production time, your turnaround time and just work more efficiently. This is one of one of my number one ways to do that. Hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.